How can I help you today? Um, you know, I um, was hesitant to come on um, because I ended up having an impromptu coaching session with one of my friends this morning. And so I am feeling a little energetically drained. Um, but I, um, so I realized during your, I, I did have a question about Um, I, I'm kind of experiencing a lot of like what Lee was just saying, except mine is meaning that I feel unfocused and I can't just like get myself back to like where I feel good. I like I have like, um, I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself and, and even just at the beginning of the call, um, when you led us through the meditation and asked where our spirit was, um, that actually kind of brought up some stuff for me. And, and I um, almost imagine myself as like uh, a little girl curled up in a ball on the floor, like hunched over and, um, and like had like this kind of like looming presence over myself mm -hmm. and and I realized that that is probably the the source of my like feeling like retreated and and also the pressure that I've had mm -hmm. um and so I guess now that can I ask about this pressure mm -hmm. that you feel what what what's the pressure Um, to, um, to do something of value, I guess. Um, so coming, you know, maybe to the getting near the end of the course and trying to like lay out kind of what I'm going to do with it. Um, I think that a lot of it has to do with, um, I am working through my relationship with money and trying to um, disconnect my value, my, my feelings of self-worth with money right now, and also kind of mend the relationship that I have as far as like, um, you know, not being able to like attract money in because I am and just have such a negative relationship with it. And okay, can I can we pause right here for a moment? Mm -hmm. um, I want to return back to the pressure. Okay. That you feel. And and be specific with me. Like what what is this pressure? What is it telling you when when you f start feeling it? What are the thoughts and the things that you have around this? feeling of pressure? Um, and tell me, first of all, too, where do you feel it? Where are you feeling it? When it, when it starts coming in, how does it come in? Um, it's coming in like um, a hand, uh, like a, a dark hand over over my right shoulder okay it's kind of weird um it's not weird it's your experience <laughs> so it's coming in like that like a, a hand that comes over from your right side okay and then and then what happens like what tell me exactly what those thoughts and what those words those words are that come with that You know, it's more of um, just like a presence almost. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have 
It's a presence. So tell me what, what this presence reminds you of. Who does it remind you of? Um, my mother. Okay. Um, and is this, so this, this presence and this pressure is energy that you feel it sounds like it could be energy that you feel from your mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it um, could have been energy maybe that your mom experienced too, as, as maybe a, a force or a, um, an energy that wanted to protect, that was thinking, you know, to, to have that pressure to self-preserve and to protect itself. You know, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, and I don't know if that's just because I'm unable to come to my mother from a, from a more compassionate um, standpoint. I, you know, I try to have a lot of understanding for my mother, but, but even as an adult, um, she has consistently, um, you know, made comments and disrespected me as far as like the choices that I've made in my life and, you know, um, not really being supportive. Um, mm -hmm. And so there's so unsupportive kind of energy. So and if you are able to recognize this energy, it sounds like you're able to recognize it and sense it. What if you, what if you disowned it? What if you consciously released it? Like, I feel like I could do that, but then at the same time, I don't trust that it's gone. So you still have fear about it. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the fear and what's the lack of trust? <sighs> because from what I'm hearing from you is that you sense this presence, this consciousness, this energy, like a hand. And if you're able to recognize and sense that, you're probably also able to let it go. Mm -hmm. And that it doesn't necessarily, you know, what, what power are you giving to that? In what way are you giving that energy power? Yeah. So if that energy had no power, what would happen? Um, then I would be free to play, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does your little girl feel about that? <laughs> um, Again, a little weary. <laughs> Why weary? I don't know. <laughs> because what? It seems too easy. It seems too. Um, because I think I'm still like giving it a little bit of power, but you know, the more and more I tell myself that it's not, it's not something that I can allow to have power that. Yeah, and maybe because it's too easy, you know, I do battle with that as well. Like working through that belief that things you have to work hard for. So know. what is it like to release that pressure? What does it feel like when it's when there's no power and energy around that? Um like a lightness in my chest. Mm -hmm. Like um almost like it's falling down away from my shoulders.
And without this pressure, noticing what you feel, you feel this lightness, you feel the weight moving down. Yeah. And, you know, part of what I've experienced or noticed in the past couple of weeks is like, even in moments of when I should be feeling happiness or, you know, in any emotion, really, like I'm, I feel almost like I'm unable to really like feel that. And I almost feel like, you know, like I'm in a place where I'm like tapped in and like capable of like feeling emotion because I, when I, when I kind of detach, I, I don't really feel it. You don't feel emotion. So I don't, I mean, I move through the motions and I, but like really looking to like feel it in my in my body and, and, and be present in it and, and to, you know, allow it to nourish me. I, I am almost incapable of it when I, when I kind of retreat. So. Mm -hmm. And you're, it's, I mean, let's just look at the language because it doesn't necessarily mean you're incapable, but it sounds like what you're experiencing is a level of disassociation. Mm -hmm you know, where there is something that wants to come through that wants to be looked at and healed. And that is the way that is a natural survival mechanism is that when we're triggered or we're, we're on the edge of discovering something going deeper or healing something that's been traumatic is that we disassociate from that experience and also from our own feelings and what's happening within us internally. Mm -hmm. So let's just take a moment and we're just gonna see what it's like to come into like full feeling body awareness okay. with all of this and allowing yourself to be in touch with your emotion, to get connected to yourself and to feel everything that you feel no matter what it is, even if it's this feeling of not feeling. Mm -hmm. So what, tell me just what you're noticing and what you feel is really coming up for you in all of this. Um, I am noticing that I do have a, a sense of relief um, to, to kind of be feeling. Um, I am realizing that I have um, some some grief. Um, so my um, my father passed away a few months ago, and so I think that I'm still maybe um, haven't fully allowed all of that to come through. Um, um, and really, I think that that might be it. Mm -hmm. So Jen, that's, that is pressure in the sense that if you're thinking about how you, you need to be creating when your father has just passed away, what if you allowed yourself the space to, to fully grieve and to be with this experience of your father's transition? I think I can do that. I am. Um, I actually allowed myself about a month uh, to do that um, 
before I started the course. And then, and then I, it's weird because I became excited about the course and, you know, we started everything and then I, and I still allowed myself to kind of move through it as I was learning. And what's weird is that, you know, like looking back, I don't even, I don't feel like I've consciously not allowed myself to still grieve. And so, you know, I didn't actually realize that that was still something that wanted to come through. Mm-hmm. You know, because I'm, I'm very self-aware as far as like, you know, I know that especially with grieving that I shouldn't tell myself, you know, you should just be over it. Mm-hmm. But what if, what if you were present to your grieving process? And what if that was all you needed to experience fully? Yeah, it feels, it feels good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's still sad, but, Mm -hmm. but it's okay, you know? Mm -hmm. And that perhaps by looking at that and being with that deeply, and completing more of that experience, that will give you the energy and the focus and everything that you need later. And that even this experience will nourish and feed, you know, what it is that you're meant to do or that you want to do. Yeah. And that yeah. by, you know, no longer denying or kind of, you know, un- unconsciously not feeling allowing yourself to fully feel, be with everything that's coming up, that this is the work. This is the work. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I I do fully believe that. Mm -hmm. So can we just take a moment together just to quietly close this time? Okay. And just taking a few breaths and sinking your awareness all the way through your body with loving kindness. Knowing that you have the courage, you have the courage to be and look at all of your emotions, all of your feelings. And that it takes strength to feel your feelings. It takes strength and wisdom to allow yourself to fully grieve. And that you have that. You can do that. It's okay. And that there is no pressure. Once you recognize a pressure, you can let it go. And Jen, just tune into what's most important for you right now. You know, let yourself go into your heart and tune into just what's most important now, not three months from now, not two, just now. What does Jen need now? Um, I have presence and, and being here with my family right now because I'm feel like I've been separated. And so I felt that, you know, and, and healing. a very different conversation from how we started Mm -hmm. sounds a lot more simple and clear yeah thank you Jen yeah thank you Sarah